General Physics 2 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. Here's another significant learning thrust. Series and parallel circuits. An integration to Kirchhoff's circuit laws. Let's define the equivalent resistance in series circuit. In a circuit where the resistors are connected in series, the equivalent resistance is just the sum of the resistances of all the resistors. For n resistors in series, the equivalent resistance is R sub S equals R sub 1 plus R sub 2 plus R sub 3 plus R sub N. And here's an example of a circuit connected in series. The resistors are in series, therefore, R sub S equals 3 ohms, plus 10 ohms, plus 5 ohms. And the equivalent resistance in series is 18 ohms. Applying the definition of equivalent series resistance, let's solve the problem below. Three 10 kilo ohms resistors are connected in series. Calculate the equivalent resistance. First, let's draw the diagram before doing the calculation. And the solution, R equals R sub 1, plus R sub 2, plus R sub 3, equals 10 kilo ohms, times 3. Therefore, the equivalent resistance R, is 30 kilo ohms. Three resistors are connected in series. The equivalent resistance is 100 ohms. If two resistors are both 32 ohms, calculate the value, of the third resistor. Then let's draw again the circuit diagram. Solution. R equals R sub 1, plus R sub 2, plus R sub 3. 100 ohms equals 32 ohms, plus 32 ohms, plus R sub 3. Then, R sub 3 equals 100 ohms, minus 64 ohms. Therefore, the resistance R sub 3, is 36 ohms. And now let's define the equivalent resistance in parallel circuit. In a circuit where the resistors are connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is given by the following definition. For N resistors in parallel the equivalent resistance is 1 over R sub P, equals 1 over R sub 1, plus 1 over R sub 2, plus 1 over R sub 3, plus 1 over R sub N. Here's an example of a circuit connected in parallel. What is the total equivalent resistance in the circuit? 1 over R sub P, equals 1 over 10 ohms, plus 1 over 2 ohms, plus 1 over 1 ohm. And the equivalent resistance in parallel, is 0 0.625 ohms. Let's solve sample problems, applying the definition of equivalent parallel resistance. Three 10 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. Calculate the equivalent resistance. First, let's draw the diagram, before doing the calculation. Here's the solution. 1 over R, equals 1 over R sub 1, plus 1 over R sub 2, plus 1 over R sub 3, equals 1 over 10 ohms, times 3, and 1 over R, equals 3 over 10. Thus the equivalent resistance R in parallel, is 3.33 ohms. Three resistors are connected in parallel. The equivalent resistance is 4 ohms. If two resistors are both 32 ohms, calculate the value, of the third resistor. Then let's draw again the circuit diagram. Solution. 1 over R, equals 1 over R sub 1, plus 1 over R sub 2, plus 1 over R sub 3. 1 over 4, equals 1 over 32, 
plus 1 over 32, plus 1 over r sub 3, then, 1 over r sub 3, equals 1 over 4, minus 2 over 32, so this is equal to, 8 over 32, minus 2 over 32, equals 6 over 32, therefore, the resistance r sub 3, equals 32 over 6, which is, 5.33 ohms. Calculate the equivalent resistance of the resistors in the circuit given below. And here is the formula. And for the solution, by substituting the given magnitude of resistances to the formula, we get the equivalent resistance R equal to 4.28 ohms. Now that you are already acquainted with the two types of circuit connections as series and parallel, let's explore further analysis of circuit. And here's Kirchhoff's circuit laws for further analysis of simple closed loop circuit. Kirchhoff's circuit laws. The first law is Kirchhoff's current law, also called Kirchhoff's junction rule. This law states that, at any circuit junction, the sum of the current flowing in and out of that junction are equal. Thus, the summation of current in equals the summation of current out. Let's formulate the equation of current flowing in and out for each of the junctions in the figure below. For junction A, I sub 1 equals I sub 2. For junction B, I sub 2 equals I sub 3 plus I sub 4. For junction C, I sub 4 plus I sub 5 equals I sub 6. For junction D, I sub 6 equals I sub 7. The second law is Kirchhoff's voltage law, also called Kirchhoff's loop rule. This law states that the net electromotive force around a closed circuit loop is equal to the sum of potential drop around the loop. Thus, the summation of voltage on the loop equals zero. Solving circuit using Kirchhoff's second law. The first and foremost step is to draw a closed loop of a circuit. Once done with it, draw the direction of current. Defining the sign convention is very important. Consider the direction of loop, the sign for energy E, is positive. The sign for voltage V, or I times R, is positive. By using Kirchhoff's first law, at junction A, to junction B, we get, I sub 1, plus I sub 2, equals I sub 3. by making use of the previously stated conventions and Kirchhoff's second law. From loop 1, we have 10 equals 10 I sub 1 plus 40 I sub 3, which is also 1 equals I sub 1 plus 4 I sub 3. From loop 2, we have 20 equals 20 I sub 2 plus 40 I sub 3, which is also 1 equals I sub 2 plus 2 I sub 3. From loop 3, we have 10 minus 20 equals 10 I sub 1 minus 20 I sub 2, 
which is also 1 equals negative i sub 1 plus 2 i sub 2. Using the equation from Kirchhoff's first law, substitute i sub 1 plus i sub 2 equals i sub 3 to the equations 1 and 2, as we can see below. For loop 1, we substitute i sub 1 plus i sub 2 equals i sub 3 to equation 1, and then we get 5 i sub 1 plus 4 i sub 2 equals 1, let's call this equation 4. For loop 2, we substitute i sub 1 plus i sub 2 equals i sub 3 to equation 2, and then we get 2 i sub 1 plus 3 i sub 2 equals 1, let's call this equation 5. Subtracting equation 5 from equation 4 and solving for i sub 1, we have the following. And then we have i sub 1 equals negative 1 third i sub 2. Substituting i sub 1 equals negative 1 third i sub 2 to equation 3, we have. And so, i sub 2 equals 0 0.43 ampere. Substituting i sub 2 equals 3 over 7 to equation i sub 1 equals negative 1 third i sub 2, we get the following figures. Then we obtained the value of i sub 1 equals negative 0 0.14 amperes. And substituting i sub 1 equals negative 1 over 7 and i sub 2 equals 3 over 7 to equation i sub 3 equals i sub 1 plus i sub 2, we get the following figures. And finally we obtained the value of I sub 3, equals 0 0.29 amperes. As what we have obtained, from the application of Kirchhoff's current laws, here are the magnitudes of current, and the voltage drops, in each of the resistors in the given circuit. The advantages of Kirchhoff's laws are, it makes the calculations of unknown voltage and current easy. The analysis and simplification of complex closed loop circuits becomes manageable. Limitations Kirchhoff's laws work under the assumption that there are no fluctuating magnetic field in the closed loop. Electric field and electromotive force could be induced, which results in breaking the Kirchhoff's rule under the influence of varying magnetic fields. May this lesson provide you enlightenment of how current, voltage, and resistance work inside a circuit. Thank you.